Hello there everybody and welcome back to Train Some World 2. Today we're on South Eastern High Speed. Uh, let's just get the doors to locked. And yeah, we're having a look at this because uh, why not? Uh, so, lovely Greater Anglia livery from Mr. Train Guy, who has been pestering me on uh, Discord as to why I've stopped doing reskins. Well, his reskins. Um, no, it's because I've been busy doing other stuff. Um, got to go live yesterday. Actually, no, that's not true. I was busy doing other stuff. Uh, so yes, let's get moving. Um, <coughs> yeah, and I've been watching a lot of the Olympics as well. Which Australia isn't doing too badly, actually. Coming fourth overall last time I checked. I will check that now. Oh my god! It's an AI-465! Haven't seen one of them for ages. Um, oh, that's still broken, isn't it? Yeah actually forces me to drive the train. I shall Google that, how Australia is doing in the Olympics. Because I, I do, I am a fan of the Olympics. I'm not much of a sports person myself. I'm uh, not good at sport at all, but I, I shall Google it. But uh, I shall also focus on not speeding. I was re-watching uh, Trump's interview with Jonathan Swan. Amazing Australian Jonathan Swan. Go watch it, it's a fantastic interview. Um, Olympic medal tally. Okay, let's get a bit more throttle going. 2021 Olympic medal tally. Um, here we go, Tokyo 2021, uh, most medal odds, oh, we're coming sixth now, US is first, obviously, um, that's another, that's a 395, service frequency is pretty nice here, and uh, China's coming second, um, the Russian delegate is coming third. Japan is coming fourth, obviously. GB is coming fifth, and Australia is coming sixth. Not that bad. Okay, uh, coming into a gentle stop here at Chatham. Closest station to Dovetail Games. Pretty epic. Yeah. Doors open up there. Hopefully they don't close themselves. Don't think they will. Look at that livery though. It's very nice. It's a model of I can't remember where, whether it is this one's the um I think this one is the um the flirt. Yeah, it looks like the flirt one. It's got the red over the bogeys. The flirts are weird trains. I'm not, I, I don't think I like them. So the the, the um, not the Australian, the um, Flirt UK. It it looks st stupid. I mean, it looks so different to the other flirts. And it kind of looks weird. I don't like it aesthetically. Not that I've ever been on one. I've had been on one. It doesn't like it. It's probably different. Can we actually walk out of the station? I have a feeling that might be a uh, a little Easter egg from the Dovetail Games. Okay, but we shall wait for the doors to shut and then get moving again. Um, so yeah, I should point out we came from Rochester, we're going all the way out to Faversham, I believe, today. Yeah, because this is a service to Dover Priory. This train is to Dover Priory. But honestly, why would you catch a train all the way to Dover Priory from uh, London on the classic routes when you get the high speed services. Yeah, just 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 a word of helpful advice. Should we get the AWS on? I think we should. It's up here. Okay, uh AWS on oh, lovely. I realise that actually some parts of 
some parts of Australia use Victoria uses TPWS, um, but some parts of Queensland use AWS. Sydney's just starting to roll out ETCS. Um, yeah. <coughs> Not that that's going to make the system any better. Not a fan of Australia, of uh, Sydney trains. Really not a fan. But I explored that in the um, in the video I did on NEC. So if you want to learn more, then check it out there. So yeah, and I've been toying with new thumbnail styles as well um, for NEC and such. Next up for the um, preparing for rush hour is going to be something on the uh, F40PH. I know it's not the same exact model and the weights are going to be different because the cars are different and we don't have the cab cart, etc. But whatever, who cares? Um, I'll still be doing it. Uh, and then also we'll have some stuff, uh, some fun on the uh, Talent 2 and in the um, 377. And also we might have some stuff on Train Simulator. London Brighton, because why not? Okay, you're gonna go full brakes now. Ah, oh, it's a pathetic normal train. I think we might overrun this. Emergency brakes, and I really don't want to overrun this because that's gonna be bad. Actually, no, you're not gonna overrun this. I'm talking way too much. Um, I'm also aware that we are no longer gonna be able to move. At five miles an hour, the doors are gonna unlock. No, three. Okay, same thing. Lovely, lovely seating arrangements. Can't get through. Why can't I get through the bloody train, honestly? That is a design fault. And uh, why can't I go for I'm waiting for something to clear? Who's in my block? Fee fi Are you my problems? No, you can't be. What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for then? Something's coming out of the depot, maybe? I've got no idea. Oh no, there it goes. The signal's just cleared. Or maybe it just got into the platform. I don't know. I've got no idea. God, the weights at these stations are too long for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. This depot's. It's small, but it's like it's pretending to be large. There are some sheds. I mean, this is the main shed area. Those buildings don't have collisions. At least the e brake. Um, let's get moving. Yeah, I'm throwing this thing around. <laughs> Which probably isn't a good thing, but whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Who actually cares? Oh god, and I've got to make a scan video. Um, I might do that tomorrow. <laughs> it's getting late now, I just want to sit back, relax, play some GTA. Possibly some Minecraft, maybe. Just calls for. It all depends. If I feel like being an absolute dickhead, I'll play some GTA. If I feel like being a normal person, then I'll. <coughs> um, <coughs> there you go, there's my lovely sneezing sound effects. Um, if I feel like being a superhero, I'll play some Just Cause 4. If I feel like being a dickhead, I'll uh, play GTA. Maybe want to stop accelerating now. We are uh, going uphill, but who cares? Stopping at Rainham, which is quite a while away. The station frequency gets quite a lot longer now. Um, and then it's... are we stopping at Newington? No, we're not stopping at Newington. We're going straight through Newington and sitting more in Favisham. I don't know why Newington has a four platform set up. It seems a bit strange, but whatever. There's Newington, so we're skipping there and then sitting more and then all the way to Favisham, which is down there. Interesting. We are very early now. <coughs> I don't really like... I, I like trains that 
well, it's not just to do with the train, to do with the speed limit, but I like it when I can see the station and by the time I've seen it be able to slow down enough so I'm running so early that it can still say wait until by the time I've pulled up and to the next station. I can do that on Kafka and I can sometimes do it on the uh, Baker Line. What am I waiting for? Surely there's nothing ahead of me. It must just be a... Um... Oh, speeding! Great. Love it. In fact, I will, might just stay on the brakes from now on. Just glide in, because brake one does nothing. I actually did an experiment on the... Oh, shut up! I did an experiment with the um, 377 just to see how it would break. Um, compared to other things. We'll go break two now. Uh, to see what the different brake settings did. I think we'll go break three, actually. Um, and break one was the equivalent of just going uphill. That wasn't effective at all. It's a perfect stop. Right, come off to throttle two. Very disappointed. I'm completely off topic, but I'm very disappointed in Ash Party. Australian swimmers did very well. Brought home the gold. Five miles an hour we go on to throttle one. Just to really slow down because we are still two minutes early. There you go, that's how you do a perfect stop. Ease onto the brakes and then ease back off. But don't come off too soon because then you'll need to go back. That is too slow. You are too slow. That is too slow. Can I then close that door? Oh, I can't close that door when that door's... Oh, I see. Okay. Seems a bit dumb. Oh no, not that! Oh, it's going to take forever. These walkthrough cabs are a little bit confusing, has to be said. But I, I like how they um, they line up so you open that up and then, you know, that works, but I don't like it. Right, anyway, let's lock the doors up. Beep, 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 beep. Right, off we trot. Full whack, who cares? Who cares about passenger comfort? Not gonna be me. You know, I, I find it weird how the um, the gangway electro stars have a completely different front to the non gangway electro stars. Because wouldn't you just for the non gangway ones just make the cab the same but just wider and without a gangway in the front instead of entirely remodeling the front? Anyway, whatever. Whatever. I have to say, the Eventra unit that has a gangway on the front looks spectacular, and so do the, um, the new CAF trains with uh, West Midlands Railway. Uh, I love the orange colour on them, and also the ones with Transport for Wales, although they're kind of just boring, it's just red and grey. Speaking of which, red and grey. But no, this one, this delivery is exciting, it's got, it's got yellow on the front, and it's got... Um, interesting shapes, whereas the religion, the Trump of Wales is just a red stripe on the front and then red and grey. It's boring as an absolute Ooh, get out. But whatever. Speeding along here along the express twack. Why are we running along yellows? I don't get it. Why? Why you do this? It says the speed set's active, but is it really? Oh, that was E, not R. That was bad. Also, I can see what that character looks like as well. I love the sound of trains at speed. That's what our guy looks like. You know, they, you know the original train sim world, 2020, or at the time it was. Um, you 
you could have more than one profile. So I had a different profile for each different route. You're not touching the controls, mate. You're just turning your head and your skin just went through your neck. Okay, problems. That is very steep downhill, that looks to be. And then quite steep uphill as well. Get air time here. Okay, there's Newington glider through that. I did trains at Newington once. Because it's a good station to rail fan at, even if it's virtual, because you've got the express services and the non express and the freights and everything else. I like this part of the route. I really do. Okay, next up we've got Sittingbourne, and then it's all the way through to... And it's a pretty fast section of the route as well. And then we're along to... Ocean. I don't like the analogue speedos though, not a fan. We've got a mozzie bite. That is something I'm also not a fan of. You bastards in the UK don't get mosquitoes ever. Stop whinging about sand flies. Because they're harmless. Don't do anything. You get sand flies in Australia, but you forget how you forget what they're like because you've covered in 300 mosquito mines. I went hiking. And uh there were very, very many mosquitoes. Um, you couldn't go a few metres unless you were covered in air guard. You couldn't go a few metres without being bitten. And they were everywhere. I, I adopted a policy of not going into my tent. I only going into my tent like twice a day, just so I could keep the fly closed. Because there were some of them who like just left their tents open and had everything pouring inside. But that kind of got dwarfed on the second night because uh, there were some uh, caterpillars. And uh, if there's anything that's more annoying than um, mosquitoes, it's furry caterpillars that spit stuff at you. They suck. Okay, we're going to start to break now. Preferably a lot more than we currently are. 700 yards to slow down a lot. And it will be fine. After the uh, near overrun at uh, Chatham, I'm a little bit terrified now. But only a little bit. Alright, break two. And that should bring us gliding in. Some catch points. I really, really want to toy around with the catch points on um, Peninsula Corridor. I really want to do it, because I just want to see what happens when you just straight up drive off the rails. I want to know what happens. Slow down, stupid train. I mean, we're still like four minutes early. Three and a half minutes early. We could actually get this absolutely... Let's go for 500 points here. Five hundred points. Five hundred points. Oh, oh! Okay, how many points did we get for that? Five hundred points! Yes! Look at that! I'm just a genius. Oh, that looks brilliant. The third rail shoe that is indeed clipping into the third rail, floating from a wooden bar, those made of wood because they're a natural insulator, which is attached to the bogey. I wonder how they retract them. Is there like a system here? That, uh, that must be a, um, must be able to lift, actuate that up something else from there. Motors are because that's too small to be a motor. A motor's there, you know. There's the air suspension. Wow. I always thought they were air tanks. 
because the only time I really notice them, because we don't have them in Australia, um, well, they're, they're not that noticeable because the um, the bogies are almost completely covered, uh, which is which is interesting. Um, like your chassis just continues. Like you don't have, you can't see any of this stuff on the bottom of the train because the chassis comes all the way round underneath. Um, so you can't really see the suspension on the trains in Australia. Uh, but the first time I really noticed them uh, was in uh, on a four five five going to a friend's house when I was really really young, back in the old days of Southwest trains. Rip. Um, uh, there's a 455, and I was like, wow, look at the air tanks, wow, they're huge. Mm, uh, two problems with that. One, they weren't huge, and two, they weren't airbags, so. Boomage. Actually, if, if someone walked into my room that I'm recording in now, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that I was in Sydney, because I've got a 1930s tube map hanging up on the wall. Um, I've got a 2018, which was the last time I was in London, sadly, uh, tube map sitting on my desk. I've got a uh, some tube artwork sitting on the wall. <laughs> I've got a um, some tube train figurines. I have a Concord figurine, I have a NTR figurine, I have a paper model of the Flying Scotsman, I've got a Lego Big Ben, and I've got a uh, 747 figurine. Went to Seattle, I used some self-restraint, thought to myself, right, you're gonna get one plane, one model plane, is it going to be a 737 MAX? Or is it going to be a 747? I thought, fuck it, 747-8, coolest, coolest thing here. Still not cool enough uh, to uh, be like an A350 or an A380. Because um, it's made by Boeing. This was before the um, 37 Max crashes. And the tour guide was rambling on to the group. I was in, uh, wow, the 737 MAX is going to be the best thing ever, and it's, you know, partnered with the new 787. Airlines can have a really, really high-performance, fuel-efficient fleet. We're doing everything we can to make the environment better. And then a few months later... And then a few months later... And that was the sound of Boeing dying. Where's Favi Shan? Better not be that. Because that's long gone. There you go, we're just going straight to Favi Shan. What station is this? I don't think it's ever stopped at Ever. Tainum. Never stopped at Tainum. If you live at Tainum, I'm sorry. It must be really sad. Somewhere here, the speed limit goes up to 90, if I'm correct. Come on, can we get back up? Get back up to 80. 80. Oh, that's 85. Yeah, look, it goes up to 90. Come on. There you go. Yeah, we're really early now. We're going to get to Favish from stupidly early. Oh, sound. There you go. Okay. That is a lovely screenshot opportunity there. Speaking of which, I should probably actually take some screenshots. Right. Three. Stop looking at our stupid character who does nothing. And let's actually grab some screenshots whilst we still have some super elevation to make it look cool. There you go. Oh, speeding quite badly. That's going to ruin my score. I know uh, this is a timetabled service because uh, we don't have a great triangular route, so I'm going to screw up. Get some XP for myself. Action points. Sorry, action points. Not that anyone cares. I don't even really keep track of what I do, I just get them. But whenever I play this game, I'm always recording, because it's lost opportunity if I'm not, you know. If I'm playing it, but I couldn't be bothered to record a voiceover, then I'll just make a scenario with... I don't know. That is a 75 there, which I probably should slow down for. Just to 
vague idea. There we go. Well, don't slow down that much. Jesus. Kind of sluggish at slow at uh, high speeds. That is quite a gap between stations. Oh dear! Quite a gap between stations. Oh god. Tell the game lags because the horn sounds like it's got oh, the uh, the virus, which shall not be named. Not that I'll get demonetized for it because I don't make money out of these. Speaking of which, if you do like the videos, just like and subscribe, and if you really like the channel, make sure you check out the Patreon. Some uh, shameless self promotion. More of you that join the Patreon, the uh, faster you'll get some hub, um, Hamburg Lubeck content. There's always an advantage to something. Why do they bother including the speed limits after the station? I mean, really. No way is that still half a mile. It's a big route! You don't realise! <laughs> Right, we should probably start slowing down now. I'm coming up on a red. Red is for stop. Green is for go. <sighs> Might even get this video out vaguely on time. Which is going to be amazing, isn't it? I know you've always wanted a video of mine to come out on time. Not that it ever, not that it ever has. Okay, break one, that should carry us into the platform nicely. Should we go for another 500 points extravaganza? I think we should. Let's keep accelerating slightly. I don't want to, because I want to be able to accurately slow down to an absolute pinpoint stop. Shut up, no one cares. Okay, brakes. You're going to need to slow down a bit faster than that. No, 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 don't stop there. Oh, whatever. Unlock the doors. Was that 500 points? Oh my god, it was! I'm just a genius at the game. I am so amazing. I'd like to see what my stopping point accuracy was for that. When it finishes. Ramsgate. Not that we're uh, three minutes early. That'll be fun, that. Wait, we're going, this is to Dover Priory. What are you talking about, Ramsgate? What? Calling out nowhere. Locked doors? What's that about? Is that because we're. It's the last stop? Who knows? Okay, let's see what our stopping accuracy was. If we don't get a gold medal for this, I'm going to have to kill someone. There you go, gold medal. Um, the train guy for level one, two, three. I've got over, I've nearly two million action points, and uh, two hundred thousand on southeastern high speed. I actually don't really care about that. Um, time taken, twenty-seven minutes. Really? Yeah, it has taken. Eighteen miles, fifty yards. What was the stop accuracy? Nine yards, four yards, a hundred yards, point six yards, and one yard. That is just spectacular. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. And if you really enjoyed, check out the Patreon. And I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.